Welcome back everybody. Now, if there is one thing that Alpine Village does best, it's going to have to be Oktoberfest, am I right? Oktoberfest. Yeah, absolutely. So for our last bit of beer knowledge, we're going to taste and learn about the Vosteiner Oktoberfest beer. Um, with me are my fellow O-girls, Brenda and Colby, and we've been learning about German beers and everything there is to know about beer from our beer expert, Todd Worthy. Welcome hey, back. Todd. All right, what more knowledge can you bestow upon us, beer Beermeister? Well, <laughs> as you said, today we have an Oktoberfest beer. Mm -hmm. um, Oktoberfest is not just a beer style, but a celebration as well. It started in 1810 by the Prince Ludwig to celebrate his wedding to the Princess Teresa of Bavaria. And nobody knows for sure, but I've read some estimates that claim that as much as a third of the population showed up during that two-week period. Wow! <laughs> Slowly over time, the Marzen style beers that they were enjoying at this celebration began to be brewed specifically for the celebration of Oktoberfest and took on a style of their own. Mm -hmm. And now there is a distinct difference between a Marzen and Oktoberfest beer. Okay, so now it's its own style of beer. Correct. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's really hoppy. Smooth. Yeah, definitely, definitely hoppy. taste some hops in this one. Mm -hmm. The hops don't hit you right away though. Mm -hmm. yeah. No. It's like very smooth at first and then the hops yeah. come in. Definitely smooth. And I would say it's uh, that smoothness comes from the balance with the malt character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not too dark. It's amber. It's kind very, of between yeah. dark and light. Um, uh, Oktoberfests don't always have the same color, right? They'll be... They, they can vary quite a bit from the, the very pale yellow all the way up to you see this one is has a bit of an amber red, to it, yeah. and can even get slightly darker than this as well. There's a little bit of sweet. What is that? You know, uh, so sometimes the finish of a beer can last for minutes after you take that last sip yeah. uh, and develop it on your taste buds. Um, the sweetness generally comes from either the malt uh, or the residual sugars that mm -hmm. come from the malt. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a beer you want to have with a giant soft pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> I would drink this at Oktoberfest. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. After a night of doing the chicken dance, you need something yeah. refreshing. <laughs> something you need to replenish. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> this is actually one of the beers that we'll be serving at Oktoberfest here at Alpine Village. Um, I'm going to be there. My fellow O girls will be there. Oh. Absolutely. I don't know about you girls, but uh, all of this beer knowledge, I'm starting to feel much smarter. Definitely Me more too. educated. Good. Glad I could pass on some knowledge. <laughs> I feel beer smart now. Beer smart. Beer smart. <laughs> and uh, there's something about it, but I don't know. I'm starting to feel more German. Hmm. <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> I guess we really are German beer experts now. We sure are. <laughs> and if you guys at home all joined us and learned what we did, then you're ready to put your beer knowledge to test at the Alpine Village restaurant or with us at Oktoberfest. Remember, it starts Friday, September 12th, so we'll see you there. Prost! Prost. Prost.